Hello everybody, Donovan here with a brand new tutorial. Today we are going to take a look at Premiere on how to increase your workflow and productivity in the app. This will help speed up your edits and just help you stay more organized. So a good organization tip is separate everything into its separate folders and also color coat. The way you can change color coat is just right click, you go to label and then you just change it to any color you want that way everything's separated. So the first thing I do is I'll import all my footage, go through it, separate it into its proper categories. So if you have any motion graphics you made in After Effects, you can import them under the graphics. Footage I'll separate by camera, so I have iPhone footage and GoPro footage. So all the GoPro footage is under GoPro, and all the iPhone footage is under iPhone. So the next thing is any music or voiceovers, I typically will put under audio. I have none for this because it's just a quick um, tutorial, but that's where I'd put those. And then at the end when I color correct, I just do one adjustment layer, drag it over the comp, slice it up, but I just put it in the adjustment layer folder. So when you make a new sequence, you can either do the sequence, new sequence, or you can actually right click and new sequence from clip on a piece of footage you have but what I suggest is if you do that be careful because it puts the sequence in the footage folder so always make sure you just drag it down to the sequence folder so you're not having to search for it later on because I work with multiple sequences so I'll have a vacation edit v1 so this is my main comp and then this second one is my selects so if we go to this I've imported a couple of my GoPro footage here so we can look at it, see what we want to snip from. So it's kind of shaky here, so maybe we just want the beginning of this. So we just take our razor tool, cut it, bring this back. This is my wife, this is me. Maybe we don't like this footage, so we just delete that. And then this is more footage, so we might not like that because it was just a quick clip. So saying if these were all your clips that you wanted to select, now it's very quick and easy to just over your audio track, just simply copy and paste in the composition. And then you're able to just chop it up and have it ready to go. So that increases my speed in editing a ton, especially if you're doing very tedious projects like weddings, if you're doing highlights, if you're doing all that stuff. It lets you look through all the footage instead of just kind of slicing it as you go. And one thing you can do beforehand, even before putting them in the selects folder, is saying if you go through, for example, the iPhone videos, and you want to get a certain part of it, so if she takes a bite of this or not, you might just in and out, and then you can just drag your clip in your selects, and then do it that way as well. So, Typically the workflow I do is first, like I said, organize all your footage. Next, import it into your select sequence. Go through all of your footage. Sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it's not much. And then once you trim everything down, you can import your music track or if it's just a voiceover, then you put those clips over top of it, add any special effects you want to the beginning and end. And then from there, just export as usual and you've sped up your project um, exponentially. So if you have any more questions, feel free to comment below. This is just a quick dirty of how I work in Premiere, but I feel like you will find a lot of your projects get more professional with this workflow, because the more organized you are, the easier it is to find stuff, the more time you can spend honing in on the craft of creating an awesome edit. So get out there and start editing. Please check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.